All right, so here's the uh, trail. So you see it's pretty much pitch black. The only light you see is from the, uh, is from the uh, camera, the phone, the iPhone. So it's off, let me turn it on. So right now it's just the uh, running light. It's not the headlight yet. So still see pitch black. Let's turn on the uh, my new LED lights. Oh, that's a big difference, huh? And the left side's a little bit brighter than the right side because uh, the right, right side, you see, kind of see the uh, the brake line here sort of blocks a little bit of, of the light. But that should be okay. You know, I'm not worried about the middle. I'm, I want more of the sides. So I might even angle, angle it to the side a little bit more as well. So that's light on, light off. Uh, let's try the... Uh, the uh, let's turn on the bike and see how the headlight is. Oops, let's see. Oh, you know what? I have it. In, I have it in gear. Put it in neutral. neutral. All right, so that's the headlight. Pretty good. Headlight's pretty good. Uh, let's look at the high beam. High beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. All right, let's turn on my my new LED lights. So pretty good right there. It's not real high, so so I probably have to aim it slightly higher. But then again, you know the the LED lights are only about halfway up the bike compared you know compared to the uh, the headlights. Uh, so it's coming from a different angle. And so let me now slow beam. High beam. That's pretty bright. So again, these, these two uh, new lights are only five watts each. That's pretty bright. It's bright enough for me. It's like that's like double the light almost. Just about. Yeah, maybe even more than double the light. Looks like more and more to me. So, anyways, yeah. So now you just need to ride the bike at night and uh, and adjust the aim, the headlight, uh, the the new LED light aim, and and I'm done. Oh, so one thing I, I should say, let me turn this off, is that the way that that wiring, that that wiring harness that I got, that I put on here with the relay and everything. That relay bypasses the the emission switch. So right now the sw ignition switch is off. All right, ignition switch is off. I have my key out and I can still turn on the light. So I don't like that. You know, I would I would have preferred it not to ever turn on. So, so remember the relay that's in here. It has a uh, it has the two power uh, wires, right? The ground and the the hot wire. And those were connected directly to the battery, but there was also that harness wire that connected to the uh, the uh, what is it called the diagnostic diagnostic plug. So it seems like the diagnostic plug has power even with the the key off, because the the two power wires that's connected directly to the battery down here. Those two wires won't turn on with the switch by itself. It needs that diagnostic plug because that diagnostic plug is what, what, what makes the relay turn on to turn on those to to get power from the the power the two power lines. So, um, so yeah, so I sort of don't like this because you know sometimes you might forget, especially during the daylight. I mean, on the daylight, I wouldn't I wouldn't have this on. I would turn it off. But still, you know, you might accidentally bump it and you don't you don't remember. And the daylight, you might not see those lights. But the other thing is, someone might be coming along. You know, you park your bike somewhere. And someone comes by and they all oh, and they push the switches and the buttons and whatever whatever they push this oh there's a light and they leave it on and all of a sudden your battery's dead and this bike doesn't have a you know it doesn't have a kickstarter unfortunately but you know it does have gears so you might be able to bump start it but i'm not sure because with the auto clutch i haven't tried the auto clutch on this bike yet if i could bump steer it uh i might try that and just to see uh because i you know i do have a steep driveway actually i just go up the go up the top of the driveway and blow let the bike blow down by itself and see if, see if I could uh, you know, roll it in neutral and, and pop it into, 
I don't know, first or second, whatever. See if I could get it to uh, to crank over. But anyway, so so that hard wiring harness that that has the relay on there, I was hoping that you can't turn turn the light on with the you know while the ignition switch is off. So I don't like that. So maybe you know it needs a different wiring harness. So I might look look into getting a different wiring harness. But I really don't want to go into the into this again and, and do it again because I just don't like I don't know I just don't like running wires. It, it feels like a chore to me. But anyways, so that's it. That's the uh, that's the results. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.